In this video, we're gonna look at some battery options for the e-propulsion Navy 6.0 electric outboard motor. And I'm gonna talk about the one that I chose and why I went with the one that I went with. Because it's not gonna be the right choice for everybody, but it might be the right choice for you if you're shopping for something like this. And I wanna show you how I got to the point of choosing the battery that I did, because some of you are probably gonna have your minds blown when you see the battery that I selected. You don't have to necessarily use any propulsion battery for this system. We can kind of do whatever we want. However, there are certain requirements and limitations. It requires a 48 volt battery with 125 amps of continuous discharge. That's important to know. Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, 125 amp hours at 48 volts is 6,000 watt hours, which apparently equates to one hour of runtime at full power. So if you have a 125 amp hour battery, that's a 48 volt battery, that will give you one hour of runtime at full power. Now with a lot of these kinds of electric outboards, if you're not running at full power, you can go for four hours but that's sort of our minimum requirements. Now, why this 125 amps of continuous discharge is important is because I have an older Epoch 48 volt, 100 amp hour battery, but it does not have 125 amps of continuous discharge. Technically, I could use that battery, but if I'm trying to run full speed at any time, full throttle, it won't be able to deliver it to me. And I don't know if that would necessarily damage the battery or just not give us full speed. Either way, this is sort of like how the electricity flows out of the battery and it can't handle the flow that this motor requires. So we have to consider a different battery than this battery right here. So let's look at our battery wants. What do I want in a battery? I want the battery to be lightweight. The current battery I have in there, that Epoch 100 amp hour battery, weighs like 96 pounds. It, it's kind of heavy. I don't know if I can get anything lighter than that, but I really don't want to be putting, you know, 300 pounds worth of batteries in the boat. I mean, everybody always talks about the problem with electric boats is, you need 500 pounds worth of batteries. So we want to try to keep our weight as light as possible. Small size. I don't want to take the whole floor of the boat up with batteries. Obviously, I'd like long run time, definitely more than an hour, and low price. Now, trying to get all of these wants may be pretty tricky. So here's what we have for the battery options for the initial shopping that I've done. Our first option is to get four 12 volt batteries. You wire them up together, you have 48 volts. Ridodio makes one that can handle the discharge rate that's required. And those 12 volt batteries are 140 amp hours each. So you wire them up to make the four 12s be 48 volts. You're still only got 140 amp hours. See, if you kept them at 12 volts, then you would quadruple your amp hours, right? So if it stayed at 12 volts, I think that's wiring them in series or something. Series or parallel, I can never remember which is which. You wire them up one way, they stay 12 volts, but you could quadruple the amp hours. You wire them up for 48 volts, you're still gonna have 140 amp hours. Four of those batteries together weigh 112 pounds. Not too terribly heavy, only $1,036. That's our budget option but they take up a lot of space in the boat. You've got four good sized batteries that you've got to cable together. So let's look at our other options. Well, E-Propulsion makes their E163 battery that's just for this motor. It's 163 amp hours, it's 48 volts. It weighs 168 pounds, because I think the case that it's in is metal. It's a big, cool looking industrial case. And it costs $4,199. So you get 23 more amp hours, a lot more weight, but a lot less footprint than this. This is smaller. This is still a big box, but it's smaller than four of those batteries. Option three, Epoch has a newer version of their 48 volt, 100 amp hour battery called the V2 Elite. It's better and it can handle 
above 125 amps of continuous discharge. However, that's only 100 amp hours, so it's less than the four 12 volt batteries. Weighs 95 pounds, the same as the old Epoch battery, so it's the lightest. And it's $1,699. But 100 amp hours, that's pretty low amp hours. I think we need to be doing better than that. So let's eliminate this one altogether. What about two of those? Two Epoch V2 Elites. Now you've got 200 amp hours because these are 48 volt batteries. So you're doubling your amp hours when you connect them together, unlike this situation. But it weighs 190 pounds because you've got two 95 pound batteries, takes up twice as much space as that. Probably a little bit bigger space that it takes up than the E-Propulsion battery. And that's $3,398. Option five, Solid State Marine. I've worked with them before. They make a battery that's 48 volts, can handle the discharge rate, and is 210 amp hours. It only weighs 105 pounds, but it's $5,950. So yes, it's the most expensive option. However, let's think about our wants real quick here. Lightweight was one of my wants. That was my first want. And if we look here, of these four that are left, it's the lightest weight. It's 105 pounds, seven pounds lighter than four 12 volt batteries, over 50 pounds lighter than the E-Propulsion E163, and 80 pounds lighter than two Epoch V2s. Then the next criteria was small size. These four batteries take up a lot of space. This battery is about the same size as the Epoch V2 Elite, but needing two of them, that makes it half the size of that. And it's smaller than the E-Propulsion E163 because of its big metal case. So Solid State Marine is the smallest size. Our next want, longest runtime, 140, 163, 200, 210. The last want was lowest price. That's our lowest price, but they're only delivering one want. This is delivering none of our wants. This is delivering none of our wants. This is delivering three of our wants, lightweight, small size, and long run time. It just, it makes sense the way this stuff works that if you want all of this, you're gonna have to pay a premium for it. Some people might say, that's way too much money. And it is a lot of money. So it's not the solution for everyone. For me, these are the three criteria that I want. So <laughs> that's what we're putting in the boat. Oh, look at that. One big battery. So if you don't know about Solid State Marine, I made another video about them a couple months ago. I'll link that video up here. They make solid state batteries for boats. And the reason I'm using the air quotes is because I think the definition of solid state is a little bit loose because there's some people who believe that anything that's solid state needs to be 100% completely dry between any plates or anything like that. But the reality is some solid state products are semi-solid state or considered solid state because they're not sitting in a liquid, but there is a little bit of liquid used between the plates. So if you wanna go down that rabbit hole about what is actually solid state, whether this is actually solid state, I've never taken one apart, so I don't know and I don't plan on it. But if you wanna go down that rabbit hole, by all means, go and have fun. I have gone down that rabbit hole some myself. As a boater, what I care about is does a product work? Does it deliver? Is it a battery that's 210 amp hours and 48 volts? And is it smaller, lighter, and better than other products? Yes, so far that's what I've seen. So 
I don't care what's in here. It could be tiny little men working in a factory eating sandwiches. I don't care. As long as it's bringing juice out for me in this box. I don't care what the insides are, as long as it's safe, of course. And these seem to be safe. My other one's been perfectly fine. Look, it's got two straps on it because this thing weighs over 100 pounds. It's, it's a bit of a, uh, it's a bit of a beast. I do have a discount code for the solid state marine battery. I will put a link in the video description to their website if you'd like to look into buying one of those batteries. If instead you would rather take a different route and you'd like to go with the Epoch batteries, which I think is a really neat option, I do have a discount code for that through Tiny Boat Nation. And I'll put a QR code right here. Also, if you're interested in the E-Propulsion Navy 6.0 or any other E-Propulsion motor that Tiny Boat Nation sells, this discount code applies to that as well. So please feel free to go and shop there and I'll put that link in the video description as well. You don't need to see me charging this battery up and loading it into the boat. I'll cover that in a future video because we haven't taken this motor and boat out yet. But until then, watch this video that YouTube has picked for you and you stay safe out there in the water. I'll uh, see you in that video.